Let's see a problem from differential equation. Again, an important problem. So let's solve it sincerely. I will also discuss the concept which will be used here. So let's first simplify this and bring it to some form from where you can think that what to do next. So as you can see, if you multiply dx with this term and dy also with this term. So you will get x plus 2y dx and if I bring this dx also so minus dx okay. and uh, minus of x plus 2y dy and a minus of dy equals to 0. Fine. Now what I can do is uh, if I take dx common here so inside I will get x plus 2y minus 1 with dx okay and uh, if I take minus sign common which is there in both the terms and I will get x plus 2y from here I have already taken minus sign common so I will get plus 1 dy equals to 0. Fine. I don't think uh, you are facing any sort of problem till now. Now uh, I can take this term to the right hand side so x plus 2y minus 1 dx equals to x plus 2y plus 1 dy. Now if I want dy by dx just shift this term to the LHS. So collectively I can write dy by dx as this term divided by this term. Okay. So x plus 2y minus 1 divided by x plus 2y plus 1. I took dx to that side and this term to the LHS. Now this is the form we were looking for because uh, this uh, can be reduced further to some format which you already know. Okay. So this can, uh, if you compare this, dy by dx equals to uh, a1x plus b1y plus c1 divided by a2x plus b2y plus c2. So there are two cases. First case is either a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. Second case is if this is not equal, a1 by a2 not being equal to b1 by b2. So in first case we reduce it to, reduce it to uh, variable separable. Okay. And uh, second case is a bit lengthy where we substitute x, uh, your small x which is there by capital X plus H and small y which is here by capital Y plus K and then solve. Uh, this, uh, if you look at the question which is with us right now, then a1 by a2 is clearly equal to b1 by b2. So, we are concerned more about this question. Uh, this uh, I will discuss in some other question. Okay. So, let us uh, come to this. So, because this is equal, so it can be reduced to variable separable. How? If you take this common thing which is x plus 2y as some other variable let's say z 
so differentiate with respect to x so 1 plus 2 dy by dx equals to dz by dx if you want dy by dx it is So from here dy by dx is half times dz by dx minus 1. So I can now replace this dy by dx by half times dz by dx minus 1. x plus 2y is your z so z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. Now, uh, what you can do is take this 2 to that side. So, dz by dx minus 1 is 2 times z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. Next, take this 1 to that side. So, dz by dx is 2 times z minus 1 divided by z plus 1 plus of 1. So you are getting dz by dx as. Now if you look at this carefully. 2z from here and z plus 1. So 2z plus z that is 3z. And uh, 1 from here and minus 2 from here. So minus 1 divided by z plus 1. First, uh, separate the variable. I told you it will be reduced to variable separable. That's what has happened. It has been reduced to variable separable. Now it's an easy question. Uh, just separate the variable. So z plus 1, 3z minus 1 with dz equals to dx. We can integrate both sides but wait. Just uh, make the thing simple. First, so what I am doing, in this step only, I am multiplying and dividing by 3. So what impact will it do? In numerator, I am getting 3z plus 1. What I want is 3z. Uh, in numerator, I am getting 3z plus 3, but I want 3z minus 1. So 3z plus 3 can also be written as 3z minus 1 plus 4 isn't it we can write this okay and if I divide separately by 3z minus 1 3z minus 1 and because this 1 by 3 was with uh, total so if, if I separate so 1 by 3 I have to give to both the terms so uh, you write like this uh, plus 4 by uh, 3 here. Okay. Like this. Okay. Fine. And uh, in the entire LHS, you integrate with respect to Z. So, DZ here, uh, integral sign, a uh, DZ here, it doesn't look good, but that's integration, uh, equals to integral of DX. Now, this is simply integration of dz that is z so you are getting z by 3 from here. Now 4 by 3 outside 1 upon linear so uh, integration of 1 upon ax plus b is nothing but log ax plus b divided by coefficient of a which is integration of 1 upon ax plus b dx is nothing but log mod ax plus b divided by whatever with is with a uh, sorry x that is a so it will be log mod 3z minus 1 divided by whatever is with z so 3 so 3 and 3 that makes 9 okay and in the right hand side i have integration of x uh, integration of dx which is simply x and plus c okay now if i take lcm so this will become 3z plus 4 divided by 9 and that 9 i can send to rhs so i will get 
uh, finally what I am getting is in LHS after taking LCM you will get 3Z plus 4 plus ok uh, 1 minute uh, 3Z ok plus 4 times this so 3z plus 4 times log of a mod i am writing just as a simple bracket 3z minus 1 equals to when i took lcm i can send this 9 to that side so this will become 9x plus 9c so 9x plus 9c okay uh fine now z was my variable because if you look at the question initially you can't see any z so z was my assumption someone as uh, so while solving this question might have taken x plus 2y as a or b or anything as uh, except for x and y so because this was my assumption i have to replace it back so in place of x put uh, in place of z put x plus 2y so 3 into x plus 2y will become 3x plus 6y plus 4 log again here if you put z as x plus 2y again 3x plus 6y minus 1 9x plus 9c I can write as a another constant let's say that a I am defining a as a constant ok now, uh, I can take uh, all the terms to one side. Let's take 3x and 6y to that side. So, 4 time log of 3x plus 6y minus 1 is 9x minus 3x is 6x minus 6y a that is. Okay. Uh, fine. Now, uh, I can cancel out uh, 2 from both sides if you like, but let that be. That's uh, the final result you can manipulate yourself. So, this is the final thing which I am getting in my answer. Okay. Which is 4 log 3x plus 6y minus 1 equals to 6x minus 6y plus a. So, this is the final answer which I was looking for more than answer if you look at the method that will be more beneficial because there are n number of questions to practice uh, depending on how much time you have for the examination but uh, the concept uh, if you practice that will take a, a smaller amount of time and you will be assured that more question you can solve of the same type in examination so the basic funda was if this uh, same things come in numerator and denominator we can easily convert that to variable separable by just assuming this as another variable okay and rest was just as simple as it was so i hope you learned something from the video uh, the second one uh, when i will solve more question based on this uh, two cases this second one will be covered also in one of the videos and there i will again discuss the two cases so uh, i hope you understood it thanks and have a very nice day